we have this equation. And our job is to find the value of x to the 999 plus 1 over x to the 999. Let me tell you that, this time, not only the final answer, but also the overall solution is going to blow your mind. First thing that comes to our mind is to multiply both sides by x and convert this equation into a quadratic one. Then solve for x using our favorite quadratic formula. The value of x is not even real. It turns out to be complex. Anyways, now use this value of x. Put it here. And finally, good luck expanding this value to 999. Wait, I am definitely not going to do it this way. Instead, we will use a clever trick to solve this problem. But how? Let us see. As a first step, let us cube both sides of this equation. We will use this a plus b whole cube formula. Now, let us expand this equation. We get x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3. x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x. And this equals root 3 cubed, or 3 root 3. This will get cancelled out. And we can put root 3 here instead of x plus 1 over x to get this whole thing as x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times root 3 equals 3 times root 3. This will also get cancelled out, and we get this thing as zero. Amazing! So, we get x cubed equals minus 1 over x cubed. Take this here, and we have x to the sixth power equals negative 1. That is simply awesome! Now here comes the magic. If we multiply 166 with 6, we get 996. So, x to the 996 can be written as x raised to 166 times 6, and using this power rule, it can be written as x to the 6 raised to 166. This will become minus 1 raised to the power of 166. Now this is an even power, and we know that minus 1 raised to the even power equals 1. Thus, x to the 996 equals 1. Now, x to the 999 can be written as x to the 996 plus 3. And this power rule gives us this as x to the 996 times x cubed. And since this is 1, thus x to the 999 equals x cubed. Thus this equation becomes x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And we have already solved for that, which is equal to 0. Thus, x to the 999 plus 1 over x to the 999 equals 0. I am literally in shock right now. This was an out-of-this-world problem. Now, if you have some idea about complex numbers, then we can write this x as cause and sign form. And using Euler's formula, we can convert it like this. Now, can you solve further using only this piece of information? Let me know in the comments if you can solve it this way, and I will give you a big heart. So good! If you want to solve more problems like this one, click any one of this video and enjoy.